My name is Philip, here's my show Progress is being made on this song for sure, but not as much as I wanted. Probably not. No, not as much. But as you can tell, the song the song sounds very blissful and open and free. And uh, making a song like this feels exactly that. Like I don't feel like I should be stressing over something that's the exact opposite of that. So yeah, it's nice. You say that you're in control All the sudden You say that you know my So the last couple of weeks I've been really thinking about what I want to do after these songs are done and I've really been planning. I'm almost more excited about that than I am about the current song. This song feels like it's like the last week of exams. You kind of just want to finish it up and go to the next thing, which I know sounds like a terrible thing to think about and think of music, but I don't actually feel that way. I love this song and I'm excited to make it, but um, I'm also excited for the summer and see what I'm going to do. So what it is, is live performance. I'm going to sweep over the gear right now. I got a loop pedal. I've been watching this guy called Mark Ribier. And also, I mean, Ed Sheeran's an obvious loop pedal user. Using a loop pedal is like, uh, you can play things back to yourself. So you can make a beat, and then it'll beat again. Boom. And then you can make a voice on top of that, voice on top of that, voice on, you know, that kind of, that was a, a human version of a loop pedal. Yeah, so I'm going to use my pedals and I'm going to use the sounds from my computer, send them into the loop pedal, use the beats set up. It's going to take a lot of time, many months to like, or like a good couple of weeks to get the sounds I want. And this will ever be evolving. But get the sounds I want on this program so it's easy to grab. Keyboard sounds, bass, drums, and then I'll see I've got the guitar in my hands and then the pedal board to run things through too. So it's, it's good. I'm really, really excited about this. And... Um, I really want to take this to the next level, performing. I want to do it so that when I perform anywhere, and if you don't know my stuff and you don't know who I am, I want you to be impressed and be like, oh, this is a great show. I don't want to just be like a headline, no, not a headline show, but like, yeah, you don't have to know me in order to enjoy. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. And you're going to see the progress this summer. Let's do it. Feeling good today. It's a nice warm day. But not too warm, you know? And also the Euros just started too, so it's a good time. All right, so those steaks were really good, <laughs> really, really good. Before we sign off, I wanted to talk about my pedal board. I'm actually really, really excited about this and I want to just give you a brief rundown. So this is my pedal board. I took everything off because I'm going to reorganize it. I haven't really added anything onto this that's different. I just want to have a new setup just because it's a new, new, new season, you know? Because of the nature of the setup of wanting to get sounds from the computer into this loop pedal, I needed a two, a two for one. So what this thing does is you can put two cables in and then it comes out in one and then you press it for one signal and then press it for the other. So when I'm recording guitars or playing guitar, I'll keep that locked in because I can't do two things at once. So I'll press this when I'm recording drums or playing on the drums and then press it when I want guitar. So, and then that goes into the loop pedal, not the loop pedal, sorry, into the pedal board. So for reverbs, tremolos, phasers, 
overdrives, chorus, vibrato, all that shit. And I'm even going to run the computer stuff through there. I could run the computer stuff directly to the loop station, but I want to run it all together into into the into the pedal board and then into the loop pedal so that if I imagine I wanted to add like a reverb or a distortion to a beat on the fly, I could just record it through, you know. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And now I actually have two loopers because this is one this is a smaller looper. This wouldn't do the job for what I really want to do. So, but having this is actually going to be great because I could almost record. You can have two loops going on at once here. And then this adds a third one almost. So, I could have the main beat, the main song going on. And then for interludes, I could do this while I delete this and get ready for the next song. So, I got. It's exciting. You might not have understood any of that, but uh, it's, it's exciting stuff. I, it's going to take some brain power, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm enjoying the, the process of discovering how things are going to work out. And um, sometimes these kind of things, they feel it feels like your shoes are too big for your boots, but shoes, shoes are too small for your boots. You get new shoes, and you're like, these sho my feet don't fit in these shoes yet. But for the most part, obviously, there's, there's definitely wiggle room for me to grow. But for the most part, I got the loop pedal. I knew what I was doing. I know how to get the sounds. I know what I'm doing with running the programs uh, i've done this for a while now and it's cool to get to this point where i'm like i feel pretty confident about where this is heading doesn't feel like too much of a learning curve but i may be wrong we'll see in the videos to come all right